Now I'm going to give you a practical example of one of my early bad business ideas and we'll play a game and you'll tell me what's wrong with the idea and you just comment on this video. So first I'll tell you what the idea was. It's an early idea of mine. It's now dead. So there's no website you can look at, but I'll explain to you what the idea was. It was crowdsourcing and crowdfunding for a business idea. Let me explain to you what that means. First, people would post their business ideas. For example, a mobile app for fitness or tutoring in a local area or something innovative like the new kind of Uber. Whatever their idea is, they would post it. Others would come and comment on their ideas, looking for holes in the ideas or having suggestions to make it better. And this will get like a brainstorming situation going in the community. And the brainstorming would make the idea much, much better. It's kind of like business planning, but in a group, you see? So instead of you business planning or, or maybe you and just a couple of trusted business partners or advisors, you'd have the power of the internet and a lot of people would make suggestions. Many of them would be bad. Many of them would be good. You would take the good ones and your idea would be far, far, far stronger. And so that would theoretically make for a better business. And then when a business is ready, you'd get to the second part of this business idea, that crowdfunding. So the funding would actually happen on the site. So you, the, an idea would be, get marked by the community as like ready to go. It's a good idea. The community approves it. It's been crowdsourced in terms of the brainstorming. Now the crowdfunding, which is like collecting little sum, sums of money from a lot of people, kind of like Kickstarter or GoFundMe, things like that. But you'd fund that idea right on that same site. And the founding team for the project would come right from the community itself. Ideally, the people who were most active in the commenting and the brainstorming. Now, think for a second. There are many, many, many things wrong with this idea. I'll tell you what they prove to be. But you maybe pause the video for a second. Think about it. What's wrong with it? Comment on the video if you want. And whenever you're ready, just resume play. And I'll show you what the problems are. So let's go over what the problems were. So first of all, people are generally private about their business ideas. They don't, they don't want to publicly post it on the internet. So the good ideas would never get posted or few good ideas would get posted. This is not a terrible problem because even though a lot of people are private, some people are relatively open. So this would only be a partial problem, but it is a problem. The next problem is that it's really, really hard to get intelligent conversation going online. You really have to have an amazing community and that takes time to build. I was actually, I, I built a beta version of this site and I never got that level of great conversation going. The founding team also should know each other before they start working together and ideally should successfully work together before. So you can't just put random people who might not be in the same city or the same area to start working on this problem on, on this business because that's just a recipe for disaster. So so that challenge of like, well, who's gonna take this idea on? That is a problem. It doesn't have to be a huge problem because maybe the person who posted the idea originally keeps that idea and finds their own founding team and team members. So maybe that issue doesn't have to be a huge one. But the way I conceptualized it, this would have been a mistake to have idea business founders come right from the site. In reality, what had happened is it was really hard to start this because when I launched it, it was like a ghost town. Nobody was commenting, absolutely nobody. And the site essentially died for that reason. I could never get that conversation going. People weren't that interested in brainstorming. And when they were at those rare times, they posted subpar low quality suggestions that didn't go anywhere and the conversation didn't really go anywhere. Also, this needs programming and good design to look professional, meaning you need either to have those skills on your team or to outsource and pay for this, which is not necessarily that cheap. So there is a little bit of money involved in doing this in a good way. Another mistake I ended up making was I allowed for any kind of ideas. So people interested in app ideas maybe weren't interested in local business ideas or hardware business ideas or e-commerce. And there was also, it was also hard to get the level of expertise 
to be high on all the areas. So because I also didn't choose a niche, the site initially was too broad. Usually you would pick a niche and then you would grow into the broader vision, but not have it all start all at once. And I actually ended up doing it all at once and went really broadly, which also did not help things. So those were the major issues for this and that ended up killing that business. So hopefully you guessed some of these. And if you can think of more problems with this business, I'd be actually very curious to hear about that. So please post that in the comments.